My name is Alyssa and I am studying English. My name is Janae and I'm studying music. My name is Sarah and I'm studying information technology. My name is Alyssa and I'm studying English. My name is Tressa and I'm studying photography. I'm Jessica and I'm studying graphic design. I'm Taylor and I'm studying communications. My name is Alyssa and I'm studying recreational therapy. My name is Rachel and I'm studying exercise and wellness. So the way that Noteworthy began, it all started back in 2004 with a woman named Esther Yoder. She simply just wanted to be an a cappella group, and the only a cappella group on campus was Vocal Point, which, as we all know, is all male. So because of this, she decided, well, I'm not going to let that hold me back, and she started her own group, and almost 12 years later, here we are still thriving. Recently, we had a music video go viral, Amazing Grace. Um, this is one of our favorite songs. We've all been uplifted by it and felt so strongly about it that we were really excited to have the opportunity to make this music video. We were surprised by how many people it's reached so far and we're so grateful because we hope that other people can be uplifted by the message of this song as well as we are. So the process of choosing a song and then arranging it is um, a little more compl complicated than you would think. First we'll bring up songs, songs we want to do, and we'll discuss it for a while, and why it would work, maybe why it wouldn't work. And then once we do choose a song, one of us will volunteer to arrange it, or our, our director will arrange it, and we've even had Noteworthy alumni and Focal Point alumni arrange songs. So, that's pretty cool. It's kind of difficult to get all nine voices to blend because we all have very different individual voices. So every day, as part of our warm-up and rehearsal, we do blending exercises where we try to match each other's um, vowel shape and tone quality. And that those exercises at the beginning of rehearsal really help us throughout the rehearsal. When we are working on a song, we always have to remember to listen louder than we sing which means that we just have to always be paying attention to everyone around us and what everyone is sounding like so that we can blend and sound like each other, sound like one voice instead of nine individual voices. If you're interested in trying out for Noteworthy when you get to BYU, start preparing now. If your school has a choir or any a cappella groups, that would be great and you should join those. Also, just start picking out the harmonies and pop songs and just get as much music experience as you can and then get ready to try out in the spring. Beatboxing, <laughs> to sound kind of cliche, is really like riding a bike. Um, when you first start, it can feel really awkward, and it probably sounds kind of awkward to other people. Um, but the more that you kind of mess with the sounds and get into it, the more natural it feels, the more you can feel rhythms and be able to find patterns within the beats. Um, for me, I just learned in my room, uh, watching YouTube videos and kind of listening to other beats and trying to mimic the sounds that I was hearing. Um, <clears throat> I would just kind of do it all all the time, everywhere. I did it at school, I did it uh, in my house, I did it in my car. Sadly, my mom would get really mad at me. Um, but, and I, I just did it because it was fun. And uh, beatboxing is fun, it shouldn't be really forced. Um, I just did it because I thought it was cool, and beatboxing is cool. Some of us before Noteworthy had experience in a cappella choirs like magical choirs and jazz choirs. Some of us also had choral experience as well. So coming to um, BYU and joining Noteworthy has been a completely different experience um, because there's only nine of us, so we each have our own part, which is really, really cool because um, it's very individual to ourselves and we can't rely on somebody else's part to help us um, remember our part. So we have to learn our power outside of rehearsal and remember it for ourselves that way we can join the rest of the group. We rehearse three times a week for two hours and 
Something that's unique about us is that we learn all of our parts outside of rehearsals so that when we come to class and we're all together, that we can focus on blending as a whole instead of working on our individual parts. We work really hard in rehearsal and we do music videos and all these different things, but I think the best part of Noteworthy is performing and sharing this gift that we have, this opportunity that we have with so many people. Um, when we get on stage and, and we get to share something that we hold so dear, it makes us happy, but the best part is seeing the reaction of the people that we're singing to. The happiness that they feel and the stories that they tell of how the songs affected them or they can relate to them, they're going through something in their lives. So music touches souls on so many different levels and when we get to share that with people through performances, it really touches our hearts in the process. Thanks for watching!